What's up guys, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while since I actually did a video and not just a live stream, it's been what, a couple weeks? I mean, the reason for that is I'm working all the time, 70 hours a week, and it's looking like at least for the next month it's gonna be some ball busting weeks, so hey, at least I get paid well. Anyway, this is everything that I got gaming related. Because I'm working so much, I'm really restricted to stuff that I order online. And you know, a lot of this stuff is pre-pandemic stuff that it just took forever to ship, so we'll crack into some of that. And real quick, I wanna talk about some upcoming limited run games releases that I feel like are pretty noteworthy. Um, one that's coming out that I'm a huge fan of is Ease Origin. I actually got their release on the PS4 when they did it a couple of years ago. I got the uh, collector's edition of that. Game's super grindy, but you know, really fun for an action RPG. Um, you know, it's not like Ease 8, you know, the view's like a little bit different. It's more of an overhead view, but you know, I love, it's not overhead, but you know what I'm talking about if you played the game. Um, love that game. Anyway, I have uh, Grandia, what, Grandia and Grandia 2 collection on the Switch digitally. That thing, digitally? <laughs> that thing's getting a physical release too by Limited Run Games. I don't know when, but I, you know, watched some YouTube videos and people were talking about it, so I'm assuming that's a thing. And another one is the Konami collection, the, the Castlevania Konami collection. You know, I didn't hear anything about the Gradius or anything like that, but... Yeah, that would be cool to get that on the PS4 and Switch. But in that Castlevania collection, I feel like it's missing out on a couple of games. Um, I don't see Rondo of Blood. I have it digitally on the Switch, but I don't see Rondo of Blood, and I don't see, I guess, the sequel to that uh, that we saw in the U.S. as Dracula X, you know, on the Super Nintendo or Super Famicom. Didn't see that on the collection, or it's not on the collection, at least the digital one that I have. Um, so I doubt it's going to be on the physical either, but still happy that it's coming out physically. Anyways, guys, let's get into these games. So this first game that we have here, this is a pre-order that I pre-ordered, oh, maybe six or seven months ago. It was a, it was a while ago, pre-virus uh, pre times. And just like a lot of games on this list here, this video I'm going to show you guys, this is the Switch Smup Collection by Astroport. Um, so basically what this game is, it's a compilation of uh, Astroport shooters on the Nintendo Switch. Now, to be honest, I do have most of these games um, physically or digitally, a combination of both actually, uh, on my PC. Now, not only was this game released on the Nintendo Switch, no, this game was also released on the Nintendo Wii U. So, thought that was kind of interesting. An Astroport Shooter Collection, not only released on, you'd figure if it went to any other system, it would go like on the PS4, but no, it's on the Wii U. So, even though I sold my Wii U, I might actually get that on the Wii U just because I might pick up a Wii U later on in life, who knows? And I would love to have the Astro Port collection, Schmup collection on the Wii U. So it's like 30 bucks, guys, on their website. Um, it still has both of them in stock as of the recording of this video. Um, you know, these are decent shooters. Um, this is kind of like, I guess, way the best way to compare the two would be uh, some of the triangle service games you guys might have played on like the PS2 um, or, you know, maybe the Xbox 360. Um, this is just another uh, Dojin uh, shooter company, I guess you'd say, you know, independently made shooters that are made pretty well, uh, retro inspired, uh, kind of like a uh, pre bullet hell. I actually heard somebody talking about this game. They described it as pre bullet hell Raiden esque, and that's pretty much what these games are. Um, of all these games in here, and you have three, you have well, different versions of the three games, like Cetasius Next, uh, Wolf Flame. I think you'll go in like Wolf Flame, you'll have like Wolf Flame and Wolf Flame DX. So just different spinoffs of the three games. And then Arm 7, which is a game that I actually have physically on the Sega Dreamcast as well. But yeah, this is awesome that we got a physical of this, the Switch Shmup Collection on the Nintendo Switch. So this game here, let me tell you, this game, I about started the job that I'm working at right now. And I ordered this game the same time I started that job. So this was about a year old, not pre-order, but a year old order, uh, a 360 game, Instant Brain. I used to call this Instant Brian. I don't know why, but I, I believe it's called Instant Brain. This is actually a cave visual novel. So why would I want a Japanese cave visual novel? Okay, well, the reason is, is because I've heard from many people, and it, it's, it has been confirmed, that there is probably the best port of Dodonpachi on the disc of this game. Now, you can't just access the game right away. I think you have to have a save file. You have to have completed the game, and there's probably a list of things and objectives you have to complete, and it's, everything's in Japanese, so it would be extremely difficult to do that anyway. There's a shmup forum, and if any of you guys know anything about this, please let me know. So, in the shmup forum, they pretty much tell you what to do. You get a flash drive, you create a save file, which is easy to do. You do a save file. 
throw it on the flash drive, throw it on your PC. You have to download some program and pretty much add your Xbox ID to this new save file that you download and inject that into the save file that you created. And it sounds like it's kind of easy and the instructions would work online, but the program that you use to check your flash drive won't even register your flash drive on anything. So and I tried it on two different computers. So if any of you guys know how to get that Dodonpachi port, access it, you know, please let me know. I've been fiddling with it. I'll, pr I'll figure it out eventually, hopefully. But if any of you guys have done it before, you know, please let me know. You know, I don't have one of those Xbox 360 connects uh, when I tried to do this, but I never, it never told me that it prompted me that I needed one. Um, so, you know, I don't know, maybe that's something that you need to access the dead on Pachi, you know, I don't know. But this collector's edition cost me 30 bucks. And, um, yeah, I think if you guys want this game and, you know, want to try to retrieve Dead on Pachi off the disc, you know, get it now because copies of this game are drying up. And, you know, for the longest time, you know, this was like an under $20 game. I just waited forever to get it. But uh, I'm glad I got it now because it sucks buying imports now on eBay and, you know, different vendors online, Amazon. They're charging like an arm and a leg for shipping. And a lot of times when they ship, they have to do it like as cargo on a ship. They can't do it on an airplane for whatever reason, depending upon what country it is. But there's also not just it on Pachi. There's some kind of other uh, game. Uh, I, I don't even know what kind of game it is. I saw footage of it like a year ago. And it looked like something. I just remember it being like something I would have played on the Wii or something. But yeah, it's more than did on Pachi on the disc. But yeah, this is an intriguing game. Instant Brain, a cave visual novel on the Xbox 360. Okay, guys, so this next game here, here we have Shakedown Hawaii. Okay, that's what this game is. It's going to be Shakedown Hawaii. I'm going to open the box, Shakedown Hawaii. I have a pwn to pick with this company, this what, uh, V-Blank Entertainment. They did uh, the Shakedown Hawaii. They did uh, another game, I guess the first one in the series that they started was uh, Retro City Rampage and Retro City Rampage DX. You know, um, never got around to playing that. Just for whatever reason, I'm sure I heard that it's a good game. You know, I really want to play it. And I'll, I'll, I'll play, even if it's digitally, I'll get it one day. You know, I'll play it one day, but... Anyway, so I got this collector's edition, this Shakedown Hawaii, you know, a buddy of mine had it on the Vita and I thought it was cool and never got it back then. He was selling a copy back then. Um, but I ended up getting this thing on the Switch. I figured, hell, I'll get the collector's edition. You know, I like soundtracks and I should have like done some research and seen what was in this thing. Because when you open this bad boy up, the only thing that is inside of this box is the game. And, you know, I guess there's, a, there's like a little manual in there. But there's a game in there and a little action figure, like a little toy soldier guy, a little piece of plastic. So I paid an extra, I forget, it was like 20 extra dollars or whatever for this collector's edition for this cardboard box. And this little teeny, you can see it right now. It's like a little teeny tin soldier, man, little action figure. Like, what the hell, man? That... Give us a soundtrack. Give me, if you would have just thrown a little teeny UMD soundtrack in there like they had in Raiden 5, do you have any idea how happy that would have made me? I mean, maybe there's a digital version of the soundtrack that they give you, but still, though, you know what I mean. I want that physical disc. So I'm pissed that I didn't get just the standard edition of this game. I spent, God, I got this from a reseller too. It was like 60 bucks. That's some, that's some bullshit there. Oh my God. Look at that little, ugh. That <laughs> makes me sick. I spent $60 on that crap. I know it was a little bit cheaper if you bought it off their website, and I, I was going to do that until it sold out. But, uh, damn, I should have got the standard edition on this one. I should have done a little bit of research. But here we go. Inside the case, we have an actual manual. Thank God. You know, thank God there's an actual manual in there. Wouldn't that have been something if there was no manual in there? I paid $60 for this for a cardboard box in the case. Thank God there's a cart in there. But, uh, guys, did you hear about that limited run games release that didn't have the limit, the, the physical game? It was like a download code. Can you believe that? Man, if you guys know anything about that, you know, holler in the comments. Because, uh, you know, I feel like that's a topic we should talk about in this community. You know, a damn, a limited run game that didn't have a physical release. Damn. That's like that Battle Garega release they did. Anyway, Shakedown Hawaii on the Nintendo Switch. All right, guys, up next, we got another shooter, another shooter on the Xbox 360, and that shooter is Shooting Love 200X, which is another triangle service game. Uh, a game I've gotten in the past is Shooting Love 10th Anniversary, which is arguably, in my opinion, the better game. You know, this game's region locked, so you're going to need a Japanese or JTAG modded console to play this game. Um, Shooting Love 10th Anniversary is not. You can play that on any console anywhere in the world, so long as it's an Xbox 360, it should... Go in your system and play. 
Um, and, and the games on this disc aren't as good. You know, you got Exeal, you got the Shmup Skill Test, which is similar to game modes that maybe you have played in Game Center CX2 on the Nintendo DS, which is region free, by the way. And you have another game called Minus Zero, which to me, it, I didn't play it that long, but to me, I got this vibe that it was like this weird geometry shooter. I know it just kind of plays on forever. You know, I don't know. I'm not a not a huge fan of it, but you know, you do have the X Eel and you got the Shmup Skill Test, which is you know kind of cool. And it's a little bit more cool in Game Center CX2, just in my opinion. But uh, maybe I should sit down with it for a little bit longer. I haven't played it too terribly long at this point, but you know, anyway, we got a disc, we got a manual, and we actually got a, a DVD that I guess has you know footage of people playing the game, maybe high score runs or something. You know, I don't know, but. Uh, yeah, anyways, guys, that's pretty much everything I got for um, the, the last couple of weeks. You know, like they've been working me like a dog at work, so you know I'm, I'm gonna be kind of limited as to the time I can devote to YouTube. But uh, guys, get at me in the comments down below. Until next time, peace out.